Hello, thank you for tuning in for another episode of Professionally Evil Fundamentals. I'm Mick Whitehorn Gillum, and I'm going to take you through setting up uh, a tool chain for testing APIs. Um, we're going to use two tools, one of which is Burp Suite. Um, hopefully, you've already seen the Fundamentals episode for Burp Suite or are familiar with the tool. If not, I suggest you check that out. Um, so, Postman. Uh, it acts as the client when you're testing APIs because you're presumably testing the API directly, um, not through a web application. If you're testing it through a web application, you just test it as a web application and pay attention to the API traffic. Um, in the case of testing just an API that you don't have a client for, Postman fills that role, it lets you construct the requests properly. Um, I treat it as kind of the clean state client, so I don't do the tampering and stuff in Postman, I do it in Burp Suite. Um, so Postman has to proxy through Burp Suite, and that's what we're gonna walk through setting up here. So getting Postman, Postman comes from postman.com. Um, it is free to use. Uh, there are paid accounts for mainly syncing and collaboration features for developers, they're the primary audience. Um, and it is partly open source, I guess. The, the application itself is not open source, but they've open sourced several pieces of it, several modules. Um, so we're gonna look at that. The other one we're gonna look at is, uh, so this is loripsum.net. It's just a test, it's, it's a public API that's not authenticated, um, and I'm gonna use it as my test API while we kind of set this up. So I've launched Postman. This is a clean install. This is what it looks like when it comes up. And down here, this little tiny link at the bottom, uh, that's the, the sign in, sign, sign up through email instead. And there's a, did something weird there. And there's a, there's a skip option there. So if you don't wanna create an account, and in my case, I don't, I don't need to, I don't want to. Um, that's what I use to get in. Now, I'm in here. I need to do something. I need to create a test request to make sure it's working. So, I'll go over here. I'm going to create a test name, request name, test. Sure. Um, it has to go into a collection. I'm also going to call the collection test. I'm just not being very creative about it. Here we go. Okay. So, here's my request. It needs a URL. Go over here. I'm going to grab this. This is actually the endpoint for the API. Uh, whoops. And in here. Now, if I just hit send without saving, it's, it is going to take the uh, modified value that I put in there. And you can see the output below. Um, I can save it as well. So I'm I'm testing this API, right? I'm, I'm now issuing a simple GET request to it. Um, there are a whole bunch of facilities in here for setting up parameters in different ways and managing uh, bearer tokens for auth and that sort of stuff, but I'm not going to dig into that in, in the scope of this video. Um, what I will do, I'm gonna hop over to Burp Suite here. A temporary project works fine. Default settings will be fine for this. I'm going to open it up, and here we go. Here's my proxy. There's my history. It wasn't running yet, so obviously it didn't catch anything. Uh, I'm going to bump this out of the way here. Uh, if I switch back over to Postman, we're not proxying yet, obviously. There we go. Nothing in the history. Uh, so over to proxy listeners. Okay, I take note of my interface. The default localhost 8080 is what I have. It is running. Always check that checkbox because if you're running another app in the background that is using that port, you, you will probably not notice that you're not actually listening. Um, so check that. And in my case, I've modified in my user options so intercept is off when I when I start up. But if you did not make that change, then you may need to toggle that off. Okay. So let's get a proxy. Oh, back over to Postman. 
and uh, not environments, preferences, settings, is up here. And it is down here. It likes using proxies. You can add a custom proxy configuration instead of the system proxy. Go, and that should just match the listener that I looked at in Burp. Okay. What was that? Now, if I hit send again, what's going to happen here? Ah, uh, could not get any response. And the reason in there, uh, if we look over in Burp, we also see nothing. Uh, we have a cert issue there. So if we pop back over here into the settings, there is under the general settings, SSL cert verification. The easiest way to do it is just to turn that off. There we go. And we're working again and we're seeing it in Burp. Um, now from this point forward, what I can do, I can, I can import uh, if I'm testing an API where, where they've been able to provide either a Postman collection, um, which is it's their bundle of requests, or a Swagger file or open API spec, um, I can import those and I can start testing through Postman. Um, if I'm working off of documentation where I need to construct the requests, Postman is, a, is an easy way to do that and persist those as well. Uh, and then if I, if I wanted to actually tamper and fuzz and that sort of thing, I'd head back over to Burp Suite and use repeater or intruder as appropriate. Uh, that's it for this uh, episode of Professional Evil Fundamentals. Uh, have fun testing. Have a great day.